What is up, Adalo makers? I want to show you the responsive apps feature. It's a part of Adalo 2.0, so Zapier integration, Xano, IAP Hub, all of these things are a part of our Adalo 2.0 launch. And I wanted to show you a little bit about uh, just kind of an overview of our responsive apps, which is easily one of the most powerful things that we've introduced to Adalo. It's a complete rewrite of Adalo as a builder. Um, it's very familiar, but also much, much more powerful. You can now build responsive web apps uh, and native apps in the exact same uh, builder, right? So when you uh, go to create a new app, if you're on kind of a legacy plan, you may still see these two options here, uh, the legacy uh, desktop and native builders. Um, but you'll also see this re responsive app. Now, if you're a new Adalo um, if you're new to Adalo, uh, th this is the only option that you'll get, right? Um, but uh, when you click on this, you can, you know, uh, go ahead and create a new responsive app there. I've already got one made, and you'll notice that there's a ton of new things here um, that are kind of hidden at first. Um, but once you dive in, you'll see that there's a lot of m much more powerful features here that, that I'm just going to kind of give an overview for. The first one that's the most obvious is this uh, this switcher here, right? So I've just got kind of like a, uh, a wireframe uh, mock-up of a container here. Um, and... It's basically just got, you know, a rectangle. Uh, these are basically just rectangles. Rectangle, uh, rectangle. I've got an image here and then another rectangle representing some, uh, maybe a block of text or an image or something like that, right? Um, but the first thing that you'll notice here is just this, this switcher here. And if you click on this, you'll notice that we've got options for desktop view, tablet view, and mobile view. And you'll notice that if I click on these, that the screen size itself changes inside the editor. Now... Um, we'll get into why that uh, container is disappearing in just a minute, um, but not only can you change it with this uh, with the screen size switcher here, but you can also select the entire screen itself and actually drag this in, and um, the screen will respond to that. So how can we make it do this? Well, if I click on this component here and then go over to this layout tab, um, or actually, let me ungroup this first. We'll ungroup it. Um, if I go to this layout tab here, you can see that um, we no longer just have you know the standard settings for components. We now have specific layout settings for each component, right? Um, and this is uh, there's basically four things that go into this. We've got visibility, uh, which you can see here. You can make this component visible on only specific devices, like desktop, tablet, and mobile. Um, Sticky while scrolling, this is uh, uh, very similar to our pin to top and bottom, right? So as the user scrolls, that item will stay there on the screen. And then we've got uh, something called sh uh, layout settings. And there's two different ways to do this. You can do shared layout settings um, so that uh, this these uh, settings are shared across all device types, all screen sizes, so tablet uh or desktop, tablet, and mobile. And if you need some, some more granular control, some more specific control of this, you can always toggle these off and get some custom layout settings down here as well. So I can control exactly what this component will do on desktop um, as opposed to what it does on tablet and on mobile. And if I want to turn all three of these off, I can even have this component do three different things on all devices if I want to. Um, and so this is really this is a really powerful way to really customize what components do uh, in, in your app, how they respond to different screen sizes. So how can we do this? Well, there's two main uh, adjustments here, and there's one kind of a hidden adjustment that we'll get into in, in other videos. So I don't want to go into, into too much depth on that. Uh, but I do want to give you an overview. So we can control how this rectangle is sized here. Um, so if I want to, say, for instance, uh, scale this with the screen, right now this rectangle is set to stay the size that it is, no matter what size the screen is. Uh, but if I wanted to scale this with the screen, I could change it to that. And you'll notice that when I click this and drag, it's now going to scale and shrink that container according to the size of the screen, all right? And you'll notice that the uh, components inside that rectangle uh, kind of inherit that, uh, that setting as well, right? The, all these components inside kind of shrink as well. 
um, or at least this one does. The, it doesn't look like this one's shrinking, um, but we can take a look at that in a second. If you ever need to reset the size of a, of a screen, you can always just go up here to the switcher, click on the size that you want to resize it to, and you're back in business there, all right? So I've got the, the width resizing of each component, and then I've also got where this component is anchored. So uh, under anchor center here, um, you can see that because I as I change the width of that, the this component stays in the middle of the screen. But if I were to anchor this to left and right, you can see that how this uh, responds is a little bit differently, right? So uh, the width on either side of the white space on either side of that component stays exactly the same, right? It's not squishing this over to this other side like it, like it was, right? Um, so that's a little bit of a difference there. So the other thing about uh, anchoring and sizing is that they kind of depend on one another. So with scales with screen, you'll notice that I've got two options, anchor center and anchor left and right. But then if I switch this to stays fixed, I can select left, center, or right. Um, and these kind of function differently. We've already kind of seen what, um, you know, stays fixed anchor center does. Um, it kind of, you know, keeps that uh, the same sizing of that of that rectangle and just changes the white space on either side of it right it's keeping it centered in the screen no matter what size the screen is but let's say that i want to anchor this to the left well what this is going to do is it's going to basically keep the let the white space on the left side of the component the uh, the same no matter how you know no matter what size the screen becomes right and same thing for anchor right um, so in this case, the white space on the left side is going to get smaller and the white space on the right side is going to stay the same, right? So in this way, you can kind of uh, control exactly what your components do on different screen sizes when they're resized. Um, and this is really helpful for building menus and tab bars and all sorts of things like that. Uh, in the example that I showed earlier, let's click, click on this again. We'll reset this to kind of uh, scales with screen here, anchored center. And just like we looked at earlier, you can see that uh, some of these components are, they're kind of, you know, overlapping each other. Uh, maybe this one is fine, but I don't want these two to overlap each other. So one of the things that I can do is I can go into this, this uh, rectangle, which is uh, viewed as kind of like a group. If I double click on this, I can click here and instead of anchor center, what I'd really like to do is anchor this to the left, right? And I want the size to stay the same, but I want it to be anchored left inside this container. And kind of the same thing with this. I don't really want this to scale with the parent. Maybe I want this to stay fixed. And I want this one to be anchored to the left as well. I don't want it to float over on top of or behind this image. So because I'm doing that, the next time that I get ready to scale this, you can see that up to a certain point, uh, I'm good on my on my uh, on my on my sizing my screen size here. So that's how we can prevent you know components from crashing into one another. Um, and let's say that you know I don't want the the width on this side of the component to uh, to increase or decrease. I can double click inside here and instead of scales with parent, I can just uh, actually make this stays fit, or I'm sorry, but we can make this uh, anchor left and right here. All right. So next time I go in here, um, the sizing of that or the width between those two are actually going to is actually going to stay the same. All right. Because it's anchored both to the left and to the right of this of this rectangle. Okay. So that's a very quick overview of you know, our new responsive engine and kind of how it works. Uh, every single component, even custom lists, even components inside of components, uh, components inside of rectangles, all those sorts of things are, uh, uh, have this layout option available uh, that you can use to adjust how your components and your apps respond on different screen sizes.